Well, he hello everybody. Uh, just a quick update on the lathe. Uh, having seen uh, some comment, a comment from somebody regarding their motor overheating, uh, I decided to uh, make a little modification with a 12 volt fan. Um, so I've been meaning to do this really before I got started, although it's not exactly warm in Camper Cola's workshop. Uh, but uh, I think it's important to get some cooling on the fan. So what I decided to do was uh, not keep the, um, the gear cowling on um, so I can keep an eye on what's going on in the gearbox because uh, I don't really I feel that I should be uh, keeping an eye uh, whether anything gets slack and the, the uh, tightness of the bolts etc so I'd rather keep that off uh, but what I've thought of doing is using the uh, chuck guard which I'm not I'm, I, I di discarded straight away um, because I felt I didn't need it I'm just going to put that I've put that in front of the gears so I don't catch anything including myself on the gears uh, it restrains the spray uh, and also um, should those mechanic should those magnets fly out that I had um, come out in a previous episode they'll obviously just bounce off this cowling uh, and not cause any harm and, and it more and importantly not disappear in the workshop so several functions for that so I'm glad I kept it um, so you can see if I just take you in here you can see what I've done uh, I've just got a, as I say the 12 volt fan there it's positioned exactly over the motor so we get quite a nice cooling into the motor there, into the motor housing. Um, I've got a, I've put it on a controllable 12 volt supply, as you can see. So I can just select uh, how much cooling this fan. This computer, it's a computer case fan. Uh, this fan doesn't mind what voltage gets to it, so you can just uh, turn it down or increase it. Uh, using one of these all off uh, eBay of course um, so that that's I think will help certainly with the cooling because I intend to use some uh, more uh, well some stronger steel uh, in the near future uh, possibly an alloy steel so I, I'm hoping that this lathe is capable of dealing with that I'm just going to do a small scooter axle to start off with and take it very slowly and carefully so I don't overheat anything uh, and we'll see how we go with that okay well that was just a, a quick update and um, how I've used the uh, chuck guard okay uh, thanks for watching if you uh, like this video thumbs up and please subscribe if you'd like to see more